congregation right now we're just gonna have an open chat <laughs> whatever comes to mind we're gonna talk about mm -hmm. uh and the first thing i would say is cain you know as we grew up from the kids and growing up we joined the military i joined the military True. and i think just getting out of my small town in gaston Alabama and seeing different things you know in my town and I'm not trying to just bring up race or anything like that you know I mostly saw it was black or white you know it was black yeah, or white yeah, yeah. and then um, my Latino Mexican brothers and sisters started you know coming into town uh, when I joined the military you know right at 18 and just my eyes wide open, you know, seeing different things, mm -hmm. uh, meeting guys from DC, West Virginia, North Carolina, and doing things, you know, you know, when you're young that you never thought that you would do or going places that you never thought that you would go. And it impacted you. I remember having my first drink and i was a young guy i think i was 18 <laughs> you know yeah i know yeah i was late bloomer yeah. and i met this 18 Ooh, 18 you know, yeah my you first know drink you, you illegal you know what yeah <laughs> my first drink and it was a yeah. school yeah. teacher i met school ah. teacher i met okay and okay. uh she seemed like she was interested so i was like yeah let's let's go somewhere and we went to a 7-eleven she said i'm gonna get you you drink I, said, mm, I tried that like i did you know she got some wine coolers i said i'm gonna get some what you got you know it's wine coolers mm -hmm. man we drank those wine coolers and i just felt like i was the man and everything and uh it was it was good. It was an experience. But in but that, saying that, uh -huh. in saying that, and she took me to my first uh, little concert, you know, and uh, it was, uh, let me see, Before I Let Go, uh, who sings that? Uh, they played at all the family reunions. Mm -hmm. uh, Frankie Beverly and Mays. Oh, okay. man. Okay. Yes. Okay. We went to Hampton Coliseum. We was there. There was a lot of older people there, you know. It was just an experience to me. Just an experience. And this is a teacher? You know? Oh, yeah. She was cool. <laughs> yeah. So the teacher was... Uh, she was uh, older. She, she was, yeah, she was, I, I get she it. Was, I get it. You know, she was a teacher. So, yeah, so yeah. this teacher was purchasing this alcohol for you? Hey, look. Hey. This was years ago. Hey, hey, I, hey, get hey, hey, I get it. Hey. I get it. I get it. So that that's what that's what was happening. Yes. So so, so, okay. so the, your teacher, one of your teachers. She wasn't and, my teacher. She was just a teacher that I met. Oh, so you know, oh, you met a teacher, a teacher that I met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You met a late. teacher. She wasn't your teacher. No, no. She in high school or whatever. No. No, 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 no. I was in Norfolk, Virginia at the time. I was ah, in Norfolk, Virginia. okay. So you had. I left that out. Military. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so you had yeah, already yeah. joined the military. Okay, okay. Yeah, so you joined yeah, the military yeah. and you was in Virginia and you met a teacher that can give you some yeah. some alcohol and then y'all Yeah, we just talking school. about Yeah, we just talking about first experiences, man. <laughs> and that just put an impression on me. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Why yeah. did I like I always have Okay. The older ladies, you yeah. know. And I know you will have uh, views on that, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I felt like she knew what she wanted, was mature, and were you mature? Knew what she liked. No, I definitely wasn't mature. <laughs> Eighteen and a half. No, <laughs> I was on the on the verge of becoming a wild man. You know. Okay. So, okay. You know, that's just the truth. I, you, know? I, you know what? I actually have something similar too. What's up? So even when I came to my first um, um, duty station, right? Yes. 
I, I was in Guantanamo, Cuba. Ah, right. <laughs> let's I go. was down there, yeah, for sure. And this is when I was in the Navy because I did a little Navy, a little Army, whatever, right? So when I was in the, on the Navy side, yeah, I had met this uh, older lady. Um, I think at that time I was probably 19, 20. She mm-hmm. had to be 35. Mm. Woo! Hold That's on. a big difference, right? I That's knew you then. Difference. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, she had to be somewhere around there. My, and, and what's so crazy about that? She had kids that were around 11, 12. So they're closer to my age than I am to her age. Interesting, right? But, right. but you know, uh, being with her, because uh, in my mind, I was like, man, I want a mature woman. I don't like these ladies that I'm, that I'm messing with now because one lady that I deal with, I was uh, talking to, she just broke it off because she just wanted to be promiscuous. You know, she didn't say it like that, but I seen it like that. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what? You know, let me just pay attention to women. And then I find out that I was, you know, I I end up meeting this young lady or whatever. Well, she wasn't young. She was an older lady. But I, I, I started talking to her and she was introducing me to things that i have never been exposed to remember i'm 1920 right i'm 1920 right so i don't know too much about that top drawer and and oh. and, 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 and congregation let all let me know about that top drawer and that <laughs> let's go come on let me know what that top drawer is that that's in her bedroom or whatever what's in that top drawer or whatever but she was like go get that out of the top drawer and 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 turn it on or whatever right i'm like what is this i don't know anything about that i know the basics but i don't know all the extracurricular right so it must be a flashlight right i guess (laughs) you can say that you can say it's a flashlight you can say because it was battery operated so okay what's going on what is going on I, and I, I know you've probably heard of a, a, I don't know, a magic bullet or a silver bullet or something. Come like on that. now. But, yes. but, but like I say, she introduced me to this because I had never was experienced to this. I was like, God, man. And then it was more so like, let's play around with this. And I was like, huh, this is a different feeling I've never felt with any other woman. And I thought that the older women had these you know, uh, uh, this background where they can experiment and they were, they were, uh, up to doing these different things. Even if they haven't done it, they were, they were like, all right, let's try this or let's do this or whatever. Mm-hmm. Versus somebody that my age, cause remember I'm just 20, 20, 19, 20 or whatever. You know, I, they didn't, they was like, nah, I ain't doing that. I don't know anything about that. And plus we were both, you know, uh, at that time I would be, you know, nobody's experience. But the older woman was. So right. I, was like, I like this. Or whatever. And I got into it. It didn't last. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you, congregation, it didn't last because of the distance. Because I ended up moving and she moved. And, you know, we kind of drifted drifted apart or whatever. But I don't know. Maybe if we were together, maybe it would have lasted longer. But it didn't last. But I was just thinking... You know, she liked that control and she liked the youth in me, I guess, you know? Right, right, right. And then, you know, but over time, I think that maybe, I don't know, maybe it would have worked. Maybe if it wouldn't have worked, you know, because she, because I don't know if uh, in in congregation, y'all let me know, do women, you know, that's older, would they, would they actually listen to somebody that's younger, take direction from somebody that's younger? Or somebody that's, you know, like, you know, myself, if I had an older woman or whatever, would she be able to, you know, like, listen to me and, 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 you know, say, all right, uh, whatever you say goes or whatever, because I'm, you know, taking charge, I'm being direct, I'm doing what, you know, uh, showing my masculinity, you know what I mean? So would they be able to accept that? You know, or they would, would, would they cherry pick it? Would they be like, all right, you said that, but I don't agree with that, so I'm not going to do that, but I'll do this. 
Well, well, Kane, I'll just, I, I can't answer, you know, for the ladies or whatever, but that lady will have to love that individual. Yeah. To really, I mean, she got to be committed and trust. to hold and down. Trust. And, and trust. And trust, yes. Because yeah. trust comes with the love uh, mm -hmm. to, to do that, you know, yeah. to do that. But it seems like we got on this topic and talking about just our first experiences, you yeah. know, yeah. as we, you know, left the house and yeah. were pretty much on our own. And congregation, yeah. what were your first experiences in this aspect or whatever? Um, mm -hmm. Would, and I, I could pose the question to you, Cain, um, having that older uh, lady that we both, you know, did experience, do the men need that as a teacher? Who was it? Did you take from being taught some things? You know. Yeah. Well, well, I, and I hate to say this. I think that the reason why we, and you can correct me if I'm wrong in congregation too. So I think that a lot of a lot of the experiences that we get from or gain from women, and in, in their older, we're we're trying to um, gain something same thing like if you know if it was a mother figure mm. so we're trying to gain something in, in knowledge or whatever right we're trying to gain that from that particular woman and we just utilize that because that's all we've been used to is a older woman even if your mama grandma whatever right auntie so we're, we're used to gaining that knowledge from them so now that we're older we're we have a woman that's older we're we're doing that same exact thing mm. y'all let me know do you think that that's what it is or is we you know that could, way, that could be a thing you know the way you put it in that context because you've said it plenty of time but you yeah. never explained it to that degree yeah now in that degree mm -hmm. will be the first time that i could say that could hold some weight yeah yeah that could hold that could truly hold some weight yeah right there yeah. and how you explained it so yeah. this will be my first time i mean almost jumping on your side on that came right there. <laughs> you know seriously you yeah. know yeah 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 i was yeah. always taking it negative mm -hmm. you know uh but we still talking about first experiences and things of that nature but mm -hmm. uh, taking a look back you know as we progress you know progressed in life yeah. Uh, would you try to change s some of your major uh, blunders, or were there blunders, or were they just life lessons? Would you try to change some things, Kane? I wouldn't change anything, even though when you're going through it, you feel like, you know, why am I going through this? Nobody else is going through this, but I wouldn't change that because that shape and molds me to where I'm at right now. Because even though I may have gotten, you know, that promotion, or I may have not gotten that particular woman or that woman left me or whatever, right? Whatever that case may be, I needed to go through that. I needed to go through that to see how it felt to actually go through that. And then how do I come out on the other side? That's the biggest thing. If you let it get the best of you, then yeah, you know, it, it'll take the best of you. But if you just learn from it, you move forward and you adapt it to that next relationship, that's how you move forward in life. Don't that's stay, true. don't stick in the past. Yes, yeah, that's, that's a life learned lesson. Yes, in the past, of course. But if you're sticking to it, you stay into it and you're not learning from it, then guarantee, yeah, you're gonna be stuck back in that past. That's how and, I, I, I I look at it like that. Go ahead. And, and congregation, I, I will say this, and especially if you're with us, because we just we just openly talking. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We're openly talking, whether it may have been drugs, alcohol, you know, chasing women or men, yeah. uh, for the ladies, um, those experiences you had. You know, especially if you can have overcome them. Now, any type of those addictions, man, you appreciate it. You appreciate what you have been through. 
we might, you know, say I regret doing these things, but it still changed you and you're not that same person that you were. If I was doing the same thing at this point in time, in 2024 that I was doing in 95, definitely, uh, let me see, 94, 95, 96 it is a problem yeah where's the growth where's the growth you're not Mm -hmm. growing you're not growing from your mistakes you're not learning from your mistakes you're not building upon the experience that you've been through you're not doing that so if you're not doing that then by all means yeah you're you're gonna be stuck in the 90s (laughs) Mm, (laughs) i didn't like that i had to those, uh, I had them overall jeans. I was cut up, you know. Cross, was cross colors. What are you talking Let's about? Go. Lamar, go. Dave, Francois, Jabot, whatever. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, jeans. Yeah, you're going to be stuck there. That's the thing. So you have to be able to, to move forward and grow with your experiences. Yes, you go through them. Everybody does or whatever, but you got to learn from them versus just dealing with anything. So that that's how I feel, congregation. How do y'all feel about these these topics? We've been talking about a, 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 quite a few things or whatever, but I, I I'm curious how you feel about this. How you feel about you know being young, especially from a male perspective, because majority of our population that listen to us are male. But how do y'all feel about that? Do you you know being with older women? How old is too old? You know, <laughs> you know. Uh, do you learn from it? Do you learn from the the uh, um, situation? Uh, um, just let me know. Let me know. Let us know. Should I say? Uh, let us know how you feel about this, and and you know, put it in the comments. We'll respond. We'll, we'll let you know what we think about it, and have y'all been through it and all that for sure. Go ahead. Oh yeah, and, and Kane, I know this is going a little a little long, and uh, just yeah. open conversation. But I remember when around that age and it was new years well i'm used to how i was raised was going to church on new years well i was away from home obviously and you did you, so, so you're saying you did that when you were younger you used to go to church on new years oh yeah we used to go yeah. uh we 10 never 30. did that i had we, never done at, that at 10 30 10 30 p.m we go yeah. you might eat then and then they have the service stored at 11 um, and then we'll go into, you know, 12 or one, and then we might have the breakfast sunrise okay. service, okay. you know, okay. all that good okay. stuff. So I was used to doing that for years, okay. plenty years and years. And then, okay. you know, 18, 19, now I'm in Norfolk, Virginia and going over to one of my partner's house and they have a massive party. And I can remember just sitting on that couch, like, man, I can't believe these people, you know, uh, man. You know, they out here, you know, they getting it in. And I I was feeling some type of way until, you know, I got up and went out for a little bit. But I was like, man, this just seems strange. And, you know, just different and new experiences, because that's how we're going to know ourselves and and figure out ourselves in life. You know, that's all. Yeah, it's it's an experience or whatever, and everybody's experience is not the same or whatever. So yeah, 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 guarantee. Y'all let us know, man. Hey, yeah. we kind of rambled, like I said, we kind of rambled on this one, but let us know. We just chatting. Yeah, this is talk. one of our just chatting. We just chatting about different uh, uh, topics or whatever. Just let us know how y'all feel about the you know the topic at hand, and we can kind of go from there. That's that's how I feel. <laughs> Mm. Hey, look, that's the uncomfortable truth. Hey. Roger that. Thanks for chatting with us. All right, out. <laughs> Roger that. Baby. For sure. You know, if you don't want to see us, but you want to just listen to us, we on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, all of them. All of them. 